There's some truth to the statement that most people spend most of their lives in cages. Most people grow up imprisoned and stay imprisoned for most of their lives. Very few ever reach a state of true freedom where they can truly express themselves, truly speak their mind, truly be themselves. A lot of ENFPs and ENTPs, ESTPs and ESFPs share this shared concern for freedom. They want freedom, they seek freedom, and they believe freedom is the key, the way, the method in order to achieve all of life's problems and to have success in life in everything you do. So when you're an ENFP or an ENTP, often it's that people don't let you or give you the space to be free. Most people judge and control and have opinions about everything. There is people around you that are constantly telling you how to act, how to dress, how to behave. Now when you're an ENFP or an ENTP, that's annoying and frustrating, sure, but you're never really going to let people rule over you anyways. You're not going to be the person that will let other people control you. You are a person that speaks out for yourself and your own freedom, as well as really the freedom of other people. When you see people being controlled, you are usually the first one to step in and say, hey, you can't control people like that. You can't tell people what to do. You shouldn't manipulate others. You shouldn't be on other people the way you are. What I see with the EXXP personality types is this extroverted desire to wake up the tribe and to get people to realize that they are in chains and to get people to free themselves from these chains. And so often the shared concern for extroverted perceiving types is this, how do we liberate the world? How do we make people become more free? How do we get people to be more alive? How do we get people to go their own way and to speak out for themselves and to be more honest. ENFPs and ESTPs alike, they love this keyword of honesty, you know, being able to say what is on your mind, being able to speak your truth. When another person speaks their truth, you are going to applause. You're going to be the person that goes like, yes, that's good that you said the truth. I like that you said what felt true to you. I don't like people that speak predictably. I don't like when people brush things up or when people hold themselves in. People should be able to be themselves and to express themselves. Perceiving types value self-expression and that is often channeled as an extrovert by getting people to open up. There is no person better at getting people to open up than an ESFP. I think ESFPs, they get everyone around them to relax. When you're around an ESFP, people just literally melt. They become happier, more carefree, more outspoken, more loud, more boisterous, more happy, more cheerful. Things literally feel more light when you're around an ESFP. And it's all this, what it's coming down to is this just ability to make people feel heard and listened to. You know, ENFPs and ENTPs and... All personality types, they're good at listening to people and paying attention to people around them. What are you saying? What do you want? Why do you say it like that? What do you mean with this? They're constantly getting you to open up and share more with yourself, with them. The goal is to get you to be truthful with them. So often the question is, what is the truth? Is this really what you want? Is this what you feel? Or is it just what you have programmed yourself to do? Is this just what you think is convenient? Is this just what you think is practical? So, when you look at an ENFP or an ESFP, it's one thing to free the world and to share your freedom with other people. A lot of time during the lows, it's that you feel trapped. When you're an ENFP or an ESTP, it can happen that you feel trapped at times. You feel that you cannot run away from society anymore. That you're stuck, that you're lost, that you're down to the floor. You can't be happy anymore. You can't be cheerful anymore. You can't be optimistic. You can't believe. You can't just say what you want anymore. You can't just speak out or dare or take the risk anymore. You've taken it already and you've gotten burned for it in the past. You've gotten burned so many times. People keep coming down on you for what you say. People keep judging you. People keep looking down on you. People are constantly hammering you and holding you back. 
and yeah it can feel like you're in doing jail time like you're serving jail time or you're supposed to feel guilty or you're supposed to feel bad just because you've been honest but should you really should you really feel bad about should you really uh, worry about what other people think should you really care this is the key dilemma that ENFPs and ESTPs share, you know, that should I listen to other people? Should I take their advice into account or should I do what I want to do? When you grow more mature and you grow older, you recognize that some level of control and self-control is important. There is a time and place for everything. There is a time to do something and to be happy and to be cheerful. And there is a time to be critical and skeptical and careful. There is a time to wait and see, and then there is a time to act. Preferably the time to act is right now, but if it is in an hour, that's okay. I can wait that long. It is also maturity to set boundaries. I can wait that long, but I cannot wait that long. I can wait an hour, but I cannot wait two hours. I can, spe I can go along with this amount of control, and these deadlines, and these rules, but I cannot handle that much control. You're going to have to scale a bit back. Yeah, dial it down. Okay, I can go along with you on that. And I understand why you want this to happen this way. But I want to have some degree of openness and flexibility on this project and in this aspect. Yeah, I understand that we need to stick to our company goals or projects. But I want two hours every week to work on my own project. That's the level of freedom you're looking and aspiring to, you know, having that time to be yourself. 